Hello guys and welcome back to another episode of Fun with Lego Mindstorms EV3. Now guys, this creation has been a long time coming. I've always wanted to make a bow and arrow with my Lego EV3 construction kit. It's always just been something that I've wanted to make because it was so simple and it could have been so cool to have like a life-size bow and arrow with you. And it's so easy to make and so it's so much fun to use and yeah. Now, part of the reason that I made this was because, um, well, I kind of made it a while ago over summer break, I believe. And um, that was when I was binge watching Arrow. So I was watching the show Arrow um, on CW from pretty much like seasons one through three. And now I'm all caught up on season four. So yeah, let's just dive into this review. Now really quickly before I wanted to go over the bow, I just want to show you guys the arrow really quick. It's a pretty simple design. I got the longest rods possible and I connect them together with all these little um, red pieces right here because just to extend it as long as possible with a little tip on the front just for show. And this actually helps because um, you can put the rubber band in between the two out stretches right there. So it makes it easier to use. So yeah. You may be wondering why this is a red, like, and why the, um, why the bow is all collapsed like this. Well, that's because it comes in a collapsible mode, which is what I like so much about it, about making this, is because it's not just like this big clunky bow that you have to carry around. No, you can just fold it back, and now it's instantly half the size. But when it's fully extended, see, there's a little locking mechanism right here. So when these, so when these pegs align with the holes. It just fit right in, and it stays like that. So, in order to go over the design of the bow, let me just show you all of its features. Um, so you have the locking mechanism right here, pretty simple, you guys can copy that from right here. Um, this is the main framework right here, nothing too special. Um, then they all go up on these um, angled pieces right here. And I have these gray pieces right here to keep the rubber band from going about and coming loose. So that definitely helps. And honestly, this is just such a cool build. I loved making this. It's something that I've always wanted to have ever since I got this build. and Or like the EV3 kit. So yeah, it was a lot of fun. And um, um, I've managed to give a rough estimate as to how far this shoots. I would give an estimate that shoots about... 20 feet maybe a little bit more i've only shot it a few times probably about like i've probably only shot it like about 15 times just to play around with it and um, oh yeah you might be wondering why these are here this just to um to have the arrow like kind of like when it shoots it goes through and it won't go down it'll go up like along the curve so yeah um i suppose i should give you guys a little demonstration Alright guys, so it's kind of hard to shoot with this with a camera in my hand, so bear with me here. Normally it is easier to use though. Let's try it. So yeah, it, um, it just hid behind the box right there, but other than that guys, it does shoot fairly well. And um, that was just like a very bad shooting because um, I'm holding a camera while I'm shooting it. So if you bend this back, the framework does bend as well, which is actually really cool because it offers some like flexibility with it and um yeah so let me give you my final verdict so yeah guys once again this is a very fun project to make i just wanted to make it one night and i did so it didn't take that long i hope this inspires you guys to make one of your own and um don't worry that was just a very bad demonstration that i did before it was it normally works a lot better than this so yeah um, oh, one more, one more thing. These are just a bunch of rubber bands that I just looped together like this. Here, you can see the knots here and here. All right, so yeah. Um, once again, this was inspired by Arrow um, a little bit. I just also kind of wanted to make a bow and arrow because they're cool. Um, but yeah, this is a lot of fun to make. I hope this inspires you guys to make a bow and arrow of your own. And um, please make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Oh, and one more thing, guys. The 100th video is coming up. This is the 99th video that I've made. Meaning number 100 is next. Thanks for watching.